Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 6. We're going to be breaking down the new photos that were released last night. Also, there is a new synopsis. We're going to be breaking it all down and talking about it in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so sorry that I didn't get this video out last night. I was just busy. So let's talk about this the first photo is obviously again this is all from episode one we had a few photos come out about a week or so ago obviously we had the new trailer which was very short but we should be expecting a longer trailer very soon but these are some more photos and there's some really good photos in here that gets me very hyped okay so the first photo is of barry and iris they're in star labs there is some sort of red lighting going on and my theory as to this bit is this is when the monitor is around and there is actually a photo later with the monitor but that's in a separate room so i do believe that this is barry potentially seeing something you know something conjured up outside and i think the monitor has the power to do that but otherwise i don't see why everything's red unless it's something to do with blood work but I can't see that happening in episode 1 if I'm honest. But yeah, just a nice photo of Barry and Iris. And now let's move on. We got another photo of Barry and Iris. They're again in Star Labs. They're at the desk. They're typing something up. I'm not sure what. But the next photo is actually probably the big one. And this is the monitor inside the time vault. Why is he here? This is towards the end of episode 1. The reason why he's here, if we go to LaMonica Garrett's tweet, what he said is... That look you give a superhero when you tell him he'd better get his affairs in order. A crisis is coming. So essentially what he is teasing is that the monitor is going to show up and he's going to be warning Barry about this crisis and how imminent it is. Because I believe before this, Barry's actually seen the Time Vault newspaper and how it's changed because, you know, it popped up at the end of last season. So I believe this is a continuation and this will be later in the episode perhaps, or it could be right at the start, I could be wrong. However, he is definitely warning of the crisis and what's going to be coming and, you know, he's in Star Labs, which is super, super cool. And he's going to be showing up on Arrow and maybe Supergirl, I don't know. But this is going to play a big factor into the episode. Okay, so moving on to the next photo, we got a team photo of Team Flash. So we've got Cisco here, we've got Ralph, we've got Caitlyn, and we got Barry. They are wearing the same clothes as multiple other photos, so this seems to be all around just one specific scene. I reckon this is sort of midway through the episode because I don't think anything big is happening right here. So sometime in the middle, I would hazard the guess. And yeah, so they're just congregating around. Caitlyn's still got that cup in her hand, that coffee cup. And now we move on to the next big thing in this. This is another look at Barry's flash suit. And I have to say, it looks pretty cool. Like, I'm not the biggest fan like a lot of people are of this. I think it's really cool. But I don't think it's the best flash suit we've ever had. And yeah, so we'll talk about that in a sec. But you see Cecile's here. So there is a confrontation in Star Labs. I believe this could be the monitor or it could be the villain of the episode, which is Godspeed. I don't know. Both of them emit light. And it seems like there's some peculiar blue light coming out of, you know, Star Labs. So they're projecting it. So I'm not exactly sure if this is Godspeed or the monitor but you guys can hazard the guess but very soon looks pretty cool right here and so we move on to the next shot and this is a shot of his suit it's very close up very high quality like I said I do really like the suit however I do think something is off with his head maybe it's the angle but it kind of reminds me if you remember the season one suit when they had that weird cow and they fixed the cow maybe it's just the shape or maybe it's the ears that are giving me that sort of distorted perspective. But something's a little bit off. He looks cool though. I like the suit. And I like that he's got the chin strap back. It's definitely a lot better than last season's. And so moving on, we got a high quality look at that photo that TV line released the other day. And he looks a lot more normal here. Yeah, I guess it's probably the angle of that photo. But yeah, it looks really cool. We got Iris, we got... Cisco in the same clothing and we've got Cecile so they all walk into the shot at one point and so look at this 
This is the next photo. This looks much more normal. It is definitely the perspective that that photo was taken at. I think this actually looks really cool, actually looking at this once again. And I do really like the texture. I think the texture looks nice. Although I could do with a bit more sort of leathery sort of texture that they had in the season 2, 3 and 4 suit. I could do with more of that. I do think this looks really good and it's a massive upgrade from the last suit which really wasn't very good at all. And the last photo is of Cisco and Cisco is in the same clothing. He's in Star Labs and it seems like they are trying to stop someone. Don't know if it's Godspeed or not. Okay, so now moving on to the next thing. We're going to talk about this new synopsis that has been released for episode 1 titled Into the Void. So this synopsis doesn't give away too many spoilers, but it has been officially released, so we will talk about it. So this is how it goes. Team Flash spent the last year dealing with not one, but two cicadas. The return of Eobard Thorn, aka the Reverse Flash, and surprise arrival from the future of Barry and Iris's daughter, Nora West Allen, aka XS. The stakes were higher than ever in the season 5 finale, which culminated in Barry and Iris losing their daughter after only just getting to know her. How will they deal with saying goodbye to their sweetster daughter, and what does Thorn's escape mean for Team Flash? So that is the synopsis, it is obviously just mainly a recap and sort of a tease for what's to come in this new season. So bit by bit, let's go through it. So Team Flash spent the last year dealing with not one but two cicadas, and so it's essentially just a repeat of, you know, what happened last season with Reverse Flash being there, but also Nora showing up, the future daughter, and then it goes on to talk about the stakes were higher than ever during the season 5 finale, talking about the culmination of them losing Nora and it's very much so in the first episode going to be them getting over that. Obviously they won't get over it in one episode but it's going to be heavily to do with that and how will they deal with saying goodbye to their daughter and I think they're going to deal with it together. Like in the past they've, you know, split their issues in different ways. Obviously last season we had a lot of big arguments and you know, fans were divided, but they were divided as well. And so I think they're going to do this together and get through it together. So looking forward to that. And the last thing that it teases, that I think is the most interesting part of why they included it, of, you know, you know, what was the reason essentially, is what does Thorn's escape mean for Team Flash? So this teases that Reverse Flash is definitely going to return. Like, there is a consequence to his leaving and obviously what he'd done obviously we know the consequences in terms of Barry and Iris losing their daughter from the future but there's going to be a consequence with Thorn escaping that will be him returning most likely and I don't know if he's going to come back before Crisis or not but man that would be sick if that actually happened and so you know I really really am super excited for the season I do believe that the new trailer is going to come out in the next week or so because The Flash returns very early October and you know it's currently the 17th of September right now so I would hazard the guess in the next week or so maybe two weeks it could be but we should be expecting a trailer that is at least 30 seconds because the first one was 10 seconds the one the other day but normally they go 30 seconds for the first one, then they go one minute, so I'm wondering if they're going to skip the 30 seconds one and go for a longer trailer for episode one, combine it with some footage from some later episodes. They sometimes do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Sorry for the lack of uploads recently, and I should have got this video up much earlier, but as I said in my other video, I'm currently at university and, you know, kind of just settling in. So you'll have to bear with my schedule for now. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, turn on notifications if you are new. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room. 